Bingo, bingo! Yes! It's AstroFingerStorm.com. Got to go to Walmart. Got to go to Walmart and get some stuff, right? So I'm still in my shirt here. I just woke up. Still got my pajamas on. I got Crocs. And so this is not acceptable attire to go to Wally World. First of all, this ain't going to get it. All right. So I have my Finger Strong shirt on and pants. That's a good start. Footwear, let's start with, let's do that next. All right, I got my old man Fat Boy Skechers. I got my Under Armour uh, boots, love those things, and Crocs. <laughs> that would probably be the best ankle support. That right there is more acceptable for the public world, Walmart shopping. And that is not acceptable outside the house unless you're at the pool. What I'm talking about right there, baby. I'm ready to move. Do my thing. If something happens, mercy happens, somebody needs aid, if uh, a demon, a grab ass, or a zombie causes problems, I can take care of the situation now because I have appropriate footwear for going out into the world, out there into public. That's, that's a, probably one of the more important parts. Now, the next part is, of course, don't forget your wallet, your watch, your testicles, your spectacles, and don't forget your uh, camera. That's what I call it. I'll show you. So what is a camera? It's code word for your weapon. Now, being a law dog, I have an advantage. I have a carry concealed, but also I carry underneath my badge in my jurisdiction. So that's an advantage I have. Um, carry concealed is, is great. You should be seriously looking at the one. But when I talk about my weapon, my tool here, I call it a camera. Now, that's a little tip here is, is your family's like, hey, uh, do you have your... Oh, gosh, do you have your camera on you? I'm like, yeah, I got my camera on me. Oh, uh, do you have your gun on you? Yeah, I got my gun on me. And the people beside you, oh, he's got a gun. So I just say camera. These are cameras, point-and-click cameras. Another thing I thought of over the years is, I'm going to cover this up. I don't want to show my agency off too much, is the badge holder that goes around your neck, right? With this type of shirt, it wouldn't really work. It would just stick out. So... With this type of clothes, I'm wearing a t-shirt. I'm not wearing an overshirt. I'm going to go with this. Right on the belt, right there by my camera. Uh, and when I wear it, I'll show you what the profile looks like. Give me one second. So, I'm sucking the gut here a little bit. I'm wearing two t-shirts. I'm wearing a tank top hat on earlier, and I got my finger strong shirt over it. And the profile with, with the badge and my camera, pretty good. And it doesn't, it doesn't hurt that I got a little bit of belly to hide it. Yeah. All right, so last thing, I got my wallet, got my phones, my phone and my work phone, and I got a knife. I always carry a knife on me when a key, a cheesecake needs cutting or a throat needs slitting. <laughs> That's an old general saying. So I got that on me, and this thing right here, this thing is great. The Streamlight Wedge. This, geez, it's very bright, very cool. I, I love this thing. This is my flashlight I carry on me when I'm out and about in public. I know it's daytime. I know that sometimes you're like, how ah, did I really carry a flashlight on me? Yes, carry one on you. Carry a knife on you. Carry your ID. Carry keys. Carry an extra magazine. It's not that much more to ask of you when you're going out, especially if you're a finger banger, which you are. If you're watching this channel. You are. You're not a demon. You're not a grab asser. And you're not a zombie. Do it. You're not sheep. Let's do this. All right, so I've gotten the camera, badge, wallet, knife, flashlight, extra magazine, got shoes on, regular clothes, got my finger strong shirt. I'm in my strong rav right now, and I think I'm ready. It seems like a lot. Seems like you're like, I gotta do this every time. Yes, you have to do this every time for yourself, for your family, for others, their family, children. Once you do it consistently, it's not a big deal. And remember, no flip-flops, no Crocs, no jellies, no barefoot shoes when you go out in public. Ah, but 
But Ash, I'm just going to Dollar General. I just got my flip flops on. Nope. Nope. Tennis shoes. Oh, you'd be caught lacking. All right, let's use this mail truck as an example. That's another tip right here. When you stop your vehicle, like if you had a stoplight, you had a stop sign, or traffic in front of you stops, what you want to do is not stop right on their bumper. That sets you up for failure. In case you need to go this way or that way, it won't happen. So let me show you how I stopped behind a vehicle. I stopped to where I can see their tires on the concrete. That's how far back I am. Now I can go this way or I can go that way and I'm not pinned in or trapped in because I pulled up too close to that vehicle in front of me. Little tip I've always done while I was on patrol. Um, also when I go through a drive through to get something to eat, I try to take the outside lane where it isn't a, a barrier or something so I can't get out. And that's just because the code one traffic comes out, some serious comes out. I've learned that if you don't stop on their bumpers, you have enough room to move. All right, here we are. We are at the Walmart. A place where people are unpredictable. You just don't never know what people are going to do or are capable of here at this place. All right. So now we have arrived and we're in the PVA public vehicle area. And let me show you what I do. This doesn't take no extra time. This isn't a big deal, but I like to drive in front of the store, totally in front of the store, the full length of the store and look down the sides. That's what I like doing. I just, I've always done that, especially when I was on patrol, I would do that kind of scout out the situation first. Maybe a little extra, maybe a little too much in your opinion, but at least now I know the full layout of it. And I know there's nobody sitting on the sides of the Walmart with like ski masks and shotguns, right? So I drive either the back side or the front side of the, the store. And then I start looking for a parking spot. The sides look good. I didn't see anybody waiting in a van with ski masks. It's not that it's not that you know extreme either. It could be more subtle than that, but it's just something you start thinking about when you go out in public. And at first, when you start thinking like this kind of stuff, you're gonna be like, "This is overdoing it." It's like a like it's just too much. Like I, I my brain after a while becomes secondary nature, and the more you do it, the less you'll even think about that you're doing it. I guess the more you do it, the less you'll think about it and it won't be cumbersome or in the way or nothing. So now let's find a parking spot. One thing I do about parking is I take my time. Um, a lot of people, destination A, destination B, that's a good spot right here. And what happens is they get in such a rush. So they put it in park, they get out, they walk to the store. And this is where I differ. This is, I learned this from uh, Pat Mac, Pat McManeer. Subscribe to his channel, it's great. He has a great channel. But what I do is I sit here for a minute. I pull into my parking spot. That dude has flip flops on. <clears throat> He's a grab asser. <laughs> uh, I sit here in the parking lot. I look around in cars. Okay, I see some elderly people sitting in their cars. There's a cart pusher over here. Nobody's really paying attention to me. Nothing urgent going on. And what this does is, is I've surveyed my area. My area of operation, I guess you could say, or I just, my inner perimeter, I, I looked at it and I'm like, okay, okay. And now I'm like, okay, so now I can step out. I can step out of the vehicle and walk directly to my destination. Not going to be a victim out here, um, especially for women. Ha be direct, stand tall, look them in the eye. And when you pull, pull into a parking lot at night, and if you look around and you see somebody that's watching you and you notice them, they're less likely to mess with you. They really are because they're like, oh, she's paying attention to me. So now let's go into the Walmart.
So the mission accomplished. Got what I came for, but I just found out it's my mom's birthday. So I gotta get my mom something. Let's do it. It's good to go. Another thing to do is to have your keys ready when you walk out. Straight to your car, look around, take your time, walk directly to it. All right, you get in your car, your keys ready, crank it up, and don't do this. When you get in your car, don't be on your phone. Don't do this. Ooh. No. Get in your car, crank it up, look around, go ahead and lock your door. Door's locked. And then get out of the parking lot. Simple as that. Now that is a tactical way safe way and the best way in my opinion to do a walmart trip i love walmart the freaks come out at night this is ash with strong uh check us out youtube channel rumble uh check out my twitter apparently twitter is going to take over youtube so i'm moving some things over to twitter i'm everywhere man instagram uh facebook what else Check out the Finger Strong cast. That's where I talk to myself or some buddies about some things. And it's more free flow. And also check out Ashton Burns podcast. Something non-tactical. It's just me shooting the crap with my best friend, Alabama Burns. Check it out. It's on According to Plans YouTube channel. It's also on Spotify, Amazon, blah, 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 everywhere you want to go. But this is Ash once again. This is the safest way the most tactical way I can think of to do your shopping at Walmart.